Hi, this is Rich from Marvelous Ministries. Does Jesus want you to think differently, or does he want you to believe differently? Apply this to everything you think about that's taught in the Bible. Do you think Jesus is the Son of God? How do your thoughts come and go? Do they change here and there? Or do you believe it? Do you believe sin is destructive and damaging and poisons relationship and destroys lives and families and friends and yourself? Or do you think, yeah, I know it's bad, but I can't control myself. It's too much fun. And so, one of the fruits of the Spirit is self-control. If you have no self-control when it comes to your flesh, then it looks like you have no spirit. And the way you live is a thought or a feeling instead of a belief. When it comes to repentance, the forgiveness of sins, Jesus took care of sin in himself, but the only way to go to heaven is to be in Christ. It's not a think Jesus is the Son of God. It's not a I feel Jesus is the Son of God. It's a belief. Do you understand the difference? If you've hurt somebody and you, quote, feel bad, it's like possibly the parable of the Good Samaritan, the people that robbed and beat him and left the, the traveler for dead. They might have felt bad about it, might have had a thought about feeling bad about it. But if you believe, then you do something to fix it. You can't change the past, but you can change what you believe about the past. And if you believe the way God believes about every definition, everything that he says, all the fruit of the Spirit. See, we all want love, but we want the world's version of love because that's all we know. We don't want God's version of it, except for when it applies to us. When we live in our flesh, we want God's grace, His mercy, His forgiveness. But there's a part we play in it. We have to repent. God's definition of repentance, not ours. It's not a momentary thought. I'm like, you know, I'm getting up this morning. I think I want to have scrambled eggs. No, no, no. I think I want cereal. Well, no. Maybe I just want a biscuit and some orange juice. No. There's a difference. Example I just made on a video was about having pizza. Where one person one day goes, I think I'll have a meat lover. And the next day it's like, oh, I think I'll just have a veggies. Veggie only pizza. Or I think I'm, I believe I'm never going to eat meat ever again. I'm going to be vegan. Or I'm going to be vegetarian. There's a difference between a thought and a belief. For us to be saved, we must believe in our hearts. That Jesus is the Son of God, that He is Lord. We need to believe that everything He did, He actually did. We need to believe it. It's not a thought. It's not a feeling. Well, I feel like Jesus is real. No, it's, it's about belief. You have to believe in your heart. And you have to confess with your mouth. Well, when it comes to repentance, you have to believe about the sin, the same thing that Jesus does. If you really believe what you've done is wrong, then you'll be moved to want to do what's right. If you don't have that kind of a belief, then you need to seek more of Christ and less of your flesh. If you love some people, oh, me and her, we're in love, we just can't keep our hands off of each other. It's not love, it's lust. Love does what's in the best interest of the person that is loved. 
God showed that by sending Jesus to pay the price for our sins because we are incapable. Nobody on earth was ever possible to deal with our sin. God is the only one who could deal with our sin. But he did what was in our best interest because he loves us. If we don't believe the same way about sin, about love, about forgiveness, about repentance, if we don't love all mankind, then do we really love God? I love God, but I'm going to live in my flesh. No, but I love God, I'm going to live in my flesh. I love God, but I'm going to reject people. I love God, but I'm going to love only this person, but not that person. But God, forgive me. I repent. You repent of not doing God's commandments? Obeying his commandments? Well, do you really repent then? Go and do what you're commanded to do. Show God the fruits of your repentance. God, I love you. Good. Obey my commandments. But God, I love you. With lips, I want your heart. I want all of you that I created. All of you that I died for. All of you. Not a fleeting thought or a feeling for a moment. Deny yourself and take up your cross daily. Sacrifice your flesh for the sake of his spirit. Hopefully there's something in these words that I speak, that I'm experiencing, that I'm living out, to forgive somebody who hasn't truly repented isn't forgiveness. The sin that was committed that is not truly repented for is still an open wound. It's still damaging and destructive to pick and choose one person over another is damaging and destructive it is not obeying the word of god it is not loving all people you can't pick and choose one person over another jesus came and died for all if you want to be christ-like you must die for all you must love all You can't pick and choose. You can't justify your sin. Well, that person was mean and abusive and angry. Have you ever been mean, abusive, and angry? Well, they violated these rules that I have in my heart that men don't do this to this and this and this to women or to children. Have you ever done anything that could be perceived as that? Oh, maybe. Well, you need to repent. You need to bring forth fruits of repentance. Your heart needs to change, not your momentary thought or feeling. It's about believing. Believing who Jesus is. Believing about sin the way Jesus believes about sin. That's repentance. True repentance will bring about a change in behavior, in the way you live. And it won't just deal with sin on the surface. It deals with sin completely. So this sin is not capable of hurting somebody else. You don't just hide it in the desert like Moses burying somebody he killed. It will be found out. Because your heart hasn't changed. If you continue to live the lifestyle in secret, it will leak out of you. It will contaminate your life. It will contaminate your home, your f friends, your family, your loved ones. It will contaminate your relationship with God. So God wants you to have true repentance. Bring forth fruits of repentance. When your beliefs mirror that of Christ, then you truly repent. Amen.